everyone, welcome back to another video. It is Francesco here. Welcome to the Keep Productive YouTube channel if you are brand new and if you're a regular, welcome back. So in today's video, what we're going to be doing is taking a look at Todoist and specifically how you can use Todoist to manage multiple projects. Now managing multiple projects inside of a list manager like Todoist can be very tricky because there's lots of stuff going on and being able to prioritize different items is very hard. But there is a certain feature set inside of Todoist that can be utilized towards making and taking advantage of lots of projects in Todoist. Just before we get started, make sure to hit the subscription button and bell notification to get regular videos here on the Keep Productive YouTube channel. Now, as you can imagine, managing multiple projects inside of Todoist can be pretty tough, and I can totally understand where people are coming from. And I think one of the biggest struggles that I see inside of comments and emails is this difference between managing professional items and personal items and being able to get that real balance and blend and using one list manager to organize all of that. And of course, naturally managing multiple projects can be tough. Maybe you've got a big project that is so important and a smaller project or a host of smaller projects that you need to manage all in one application and sometimes that can be very tricky. So inside of Todoist, there are plenty of features that can be very useful, and the first being project title. Now, project title is very important. What you title your project will help you to find and see stuff at a glance and save you a bunch of time. So using uppercase can be a tactic to make it clear and defined that it's an important project or to define the name of the project. And a shorter title will help you to find stuff faster versus a longer title, which might be a little harder to find. Now, obviously, it's totally up to you to how you organize this, and the titles are very important to that. So making sure you keep them short and concise will be very helpful for later. Using project colors is another way to add a layer to finding your projects at a glance, and colors can be very useful. I know some people that use a red to indicate a more important or bigger project, and a yellow to indicate a less important or smaller item-based project and using the colors can be a very useful tactic. Let's say you work with a client that has a branding that is blue, maybe you want to add the color set as blue. So being able to use the colors to your advantage can be very useful when finding projects. Another thing you can do to a project title is add an emoji before or after it, or even in the middle of the title. This can be useful sometimes to define a certain project or a title. For me, I do this with all of my different projects and I find it a very useful way to find finding stuff at a glance. Sometimes emojis can be like almost images and help you to find and search for stuff a little bit faster. The next thing that you can do is hierarchically organize the structure of your folders for your projects. And it's very simple to get started with something like this. So all you need to do is create a project and then what you can do is nest any project underneath that, making that project into almost a folder for all of the other projects below it. Now, you can actually move up and down certain items to the position you'd like them to be, but this really does help you to set up a really nice structure on that left-hand side. Now, if you're managing model projects, this will save you a heap of time, so it's highly recommended to get that perfect layout on the left-hand side. There is another feature inside of Todoist called Archive Projects, so if you finish a project and you don't need it hanging about, you can archive the project versus deleting it, so that if you want to find it or reference it for later, then you can do that. So as you can imagine, managing all of the task side of stuff, the actual doing side of stuff can be pretty tough with multiple projects going on. Your to-do list can get easily crazy if you just start adding tasks to it. And as you can imagine, when you look and glance down that today tab on that next seven day tab, it might give you a bit of anxiety because you've got loads of different tasks in loads of different projects. So for me, I had this problem a lot and I tend to do something called a weekly review with my Todoist. So I tend to sit down for about 20 minutes at the end of every week, could be on a Thursday, Friday or Saturday, depending when I get those 20 minutes to do that. And what I'll do is I'll go into the project list view. And once I'm inside of this view for each of my projects, I will create five different tasks. And what I tend to do is create this task at the top, which indicates a certain project item or something to do, and I will duplicate it five times. 
This way, I've got five tasks that are inside of there. What I will then do is assign all of them to the day that I will do them on and the time that I tend to do them on. And what I'll do from there is start adding tasks as subtasks inside of that. Now, what I found this did over time is actually reduce the size of my today tab. It actually reduced it to between uh, about seven and 10 tasks a day and provided me with a way to visually see the important tasks per project um, per day inside of the today view and as you can see it makes it a lot easier to view and at a glance I can see what I need to get done. So when it comes to looking at my today tab I can then view it and see all of the items move them about from here once I've gone into individual projects and assigned them to different dates and times. Now all of the subtasks are nested inside there so I don't necessarily have to keep them open I can keep this list short and easy to view and all of the timings there for my day. Now this could be a very useful technique and you can use the search bar at the top to type in a day that you've got coming up and to organize that day specifically. So for example, if I type in Tuesday, I can see all of the items for Tuesday and move everything around for that and just see everything from that view. Now naturally, I totally understand that that setup or that layout might not work for you, but for me, when it comes to managing multiple projects inside of Todoist, it really does help, especially when I'm managing personal and professional items in tandem. Another thing that will help you as well is the use of templates as well inside of a project to save you a huge amount of time copying admin items or doing stuff. When I'm doing my subtasks, I tend to uh, make that uh, sort of uh, initial task and add clear email because that's something I do every single day and actually duplicate it instead of having to make individual subtasks for the actual clear the email, which will save me time. So being able to find ways to save you time or utilizing the Todoist templates feature can be extremely valuable. One thing I would say for teams that are using Todoist is to avoid the stress of people dumping different tasks to you. So what I recommend doing for teams is once you've agreed certain items, put them inside of your project view list versus the team inbox if they're if you know the project you're already working on and then delegate once you've agreed who you're working on there's nothing worse than seeing a bunch of tasks in your to-do list with little bit of context little bit of uh, information about it and very little information about when it needs to get done so once you've cleared and you're clarified about what tasks you need to get done in your team you can then delegate them to everyone else using the project view. It just saves you a huge amount of time. So guys, as you can imagine, there's tons of ways that you can use to do this to manage multiple projects. And as I was mentioning, I'll probably do a separate feature to this to talk a little bit more about the tactics around this. Obviously, this that was my sort of process and obviously the finding of sorting abilities at the start was something that you can use universally, but I think it'll be very valuable for you. So guys, I'd love to hear how you organize and manage multiple projects inside of Todoist, it'd be great to hear that. So feel free to pop them in the comments below. It'd be great to get like discussion rolling. Uh, and if you're not in the Facebook group already, feel free to comment in that group with how you manage your Todoist. It'd be really amazing to hear. So guys, I really appreciate you stopping by today. I hope you found this video useful. I do tons more videos, for, so feel free to make sure to subscribe and to hit that bell notification for regular videos. It'd be great to have you in this community. Anyway guys, make sure to have a great week, keep productive, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Cheers.